Hi everyone! So today I have a Dia & Co box. It is my very first Dia & Co box. Um, it's like Stitch Fix but plus size from what I understand. Um, so let's jump right in. I'm going to open the box on camera because it was a smaller box than my trunk club. Um, and I'm really excited to see what's in here because I've never done this before. Um, when I was, when I wrote my note to my stylist, I said I was looking for a fuzzy faux fur jacket, which I don't think this box is big enough for that. And I was also looking for leopard print because I hear it's a neutral. Um, and I also asked for a pair of jeans that weren't skinnies because that's basically all I wear. Um, so I was open to trying more stuff. So let's see what's in the box. So, as usual, there's a return envelope. There is, a, I guess this is the prices and the um, note from the stylist and everything like that. I'm not going to look at that yet. And then, here is my burrito. So I don't see any leopard print, but I do see jeans, so that's exciting. Um, so let's dig in. Okay, so the first thing is a blouse. It has sort of a balloon sleeve, and I can see already that it has threads coming down. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera, um, but that is going to be a definite no from me because I'm not going to buy something that's already already looks like it's coming apart. Um, which is a shame because it's a cute blouse and I think it looks cute with my hair, but I'll still try it on. Item number two is a navy and blue, no, it's navy and black. <laughs> it's a navy and black t-shirt. Um, it has, I think it's kind of, oh no, it's, it's got like lace details. Um, this is, I don't know why this garment is confusing me so much. But um, I'm not really sure that I like it. I've mentioned in my previous trunk or in my previous trunk club video that I'm not really a fan of navy and black. So I'm not feeling this box yet. So hopefully there's some good pieces in here. The third item is a pair of looks like capri pants uh, from Mirror Lane. So they look like work pants, um, not really the greatest um, shape or, or style for this time of year, but it's going to get warm here soon, so that would probably work for me, although I have something kind of similar to these, so I don't know how open I would be to them, but I'll try them on. And then the next thing is this dress. So it's got sort of a wrap front, uh, empire waist, and it's like teal, and this is kind of pretty. I, I can see myself wearing this. This is from Jilly or Jilly. Um, so that is pretty good. And then finally, it looks like a pair of skinny jeans. So I don't think they listen to me at all. These are jeggings. They're from Curve Appeal. Um, but this is not really what I was looking for. So I'm a little disappointed so far opening the box up. So let's try this stuff on. I'll give it a chance and see how it goes. This is the first outfit combination. I have the blouse on, which I feel is a little bit of a weird fit. It kind of feels tight across the shoulders and it's also pretty tight in the arms. And like I said, there's quite a, oh, there's a bunch of strings that just came out. I don't know if there's a hole there. Uh, no, there's no hole there. So, um, it's a cute top. I like where it hits, but it doesn't fit me perfectly. So I'm not really thrilled with it. And then, like I thought, these jeans, oh, you can't see them very well. Hold on a second. Okay, so these are the jeans, and like I thought, they are skinny jeans, and they fit pretty well. They're quite comfortable, but the problem is, is that they're distressed here and at the pocket here. And I specifically asked for no distressing, so I really feel like 
Nobody read my style notes, so I'm not very impressed with Dia & Co. at this point. I had high hopes for this dress, but I find it makes me look a little bit frumpy. Um, it has a wrap front and it's a little bit too big in the bust, which is weird because I have a pretty big chest. Um, and I'm just not thrilled with it overall, so this is a no. Um, I don't really feel like they didn't listen to me on this one. It's just a question of taste and I don't love this dress um, on me. This is the last combination and I would never wear these things together, but I put them on for the sake of the video, not to be too long. Um, this is the navy and black top and I really don't like it. It's, it fits me fine. Um, that's from the back. But like I said before, I'm not really crazy about navy and black together and I'm not really a fan of this lace. So I don't think this suits my style at all. Um, these pants are not terrible. I think they're a pretty good pair of work pants. Um, they are also, I think they're navy and darker navy or they might be navy and black, but I don't hate them as much. So depending on how much these are, this is probably what I'll keep from the box. Um, but it, they'd have to be less than $50 or $50 around there for me to consider them. So let's go take a look at the prices and I'll give you my final thoughts. So I'm back. Um, I wanted to tell you who I got as a stylist. I'm not going to read the note, uh, but the stylist's name is Katie. Um, and I don't think she did a very good job, but it also is apparent from the note that I read that she didn't read what I asked for at all. So probably need to give them another chance um, to see if they respond to the feedback. I'm hoping that my disappointment with this box maybe gets me a my styling fee waived for the next box. I know that happens with Stitch, Stitch Fix sometimes, so maybe Dia & Co. is similar. Um, I don't know. I'll let you know if that uh, happens. Um, so, starting with the skinny jeans. These are $69. They're from Curve Appeal and they're called the Bergen Skinny Jean. Like I said, they are distressed and I asked for specifically not distressed, so those are going back. I'm putting them in the box. I'm not just junk chucking them on the floor. Um, this blouse from Ryan Wythe is the Aria three quarter balloon sleeve blouse in navy and pink. It's $42. Um, and I'm not impressed with the fit. And like I said, there were threads coming down off of it. So I'm not going to keep that. These pants were the pants that I considered keeping. Um, they're from Mira Lane. They're called the Edinburgh Pull On Texture Ankle Pant in navy and the price is $69 so that's over my $50 um, cap which I think I told Dia and Co that I'm willing to spend more on pants, which I am, but I have something really similar to this in my wardrobe, which is why I, I put a, a limit on it. So those are going back. Um, this is another Ryan Wythe top. It's the Ruth short, leave, short sleeve lace trim top in navy black, uh, and that's $55. I think for a t-shirt, that's a little pricey, although it is an embellished t-shirt and stuff like that, but it's not really a blouse, so I'm in my mind, it doesn't, it's not really worth it, and also I don't really like the t-shirt, so that's also going back. And then finally, the Sanibel knit dress from Julie is $59, and I was not impressed with the fit, so, it's a zero out of zero box, which is really disappointing. So, like I said, I'm probably gonna give Dia and Co. another chance. Um, hopefully they'll read my note next time, um, but I'll let you know what how it pans out if something happens um, 